combustion and flame learning about different types of flame flame some substances burn with a flame while other burns without a flame observe the flame of a candle kitchen stove kerosene lamp and bursin burner you will find that all of them burn with a flame notice carefully the different flames structure of a flame light a candle hold a glass tube with a pair of tongs and introduce its one end in dark zone of a non flickering candle flame bring a lighted match stick near the other end of the glass tube do you see a flame yes if so what is it that produces a flame the substances which vaporize during burning gives flame for example kerosene oil and molten wax rise through the wick and are vaporized during burning and form flames charcoal on the other hand does not vaporize and so does not produce a flame in the activity could the vapors of wax coming out of the glass tube be the cause of flame produced when a candle's flame is steady introduce a clean glass plate or slide into the luminous zone of the flame hold it there with a pair of tongs for about 10 seconds then remove it what do you observe a circular blackish ring is formed on the glass plate or slide it indicates the deposition of unburnt carbon particles present in the luminous zone of the flame hold a thin long copper wire just inside the flame for 30 seconds notice that the portion of copper wire just outside the flame gets red hot does it indicates that the non luminous zone of the flame has a high temperature in fact this part of flame is the hottest part goldsmiths blow out the outermost zone of the flame with a metallic blow pipe for melting gold and silver why do they use the outermost zone of the flame outermost zone gives the hottest flame so it is best in use what is a fuel any matter which is burned to produce heat and energy is known as a fuel the sources of energy for domestic and industrial purposes are mainly wood charcoal petrol kerosene gas these substances are called fuels a good fuel is one which is readily available and cheap it burns easily in air at a moderate rate it produces a large amount of heat it does not leave behind any undesirable substances fuel efficiency suppose you were asked to boil a given quantity of water using cow dung coal and lpg as fuel which fuel would you prefer i would prefer lpg as fuel as it is harmless easily available and has high fuel efficiency burning of fuels leads to harmful products the increasing fuel consumptions has harmful effects on the environment carbon fuels like wood coal petroleum releases unburnt carbon particles These fine particles are dangerous pollutant causing respiratory diseases such as asthma. Incomplete combustion of these fuel gives carbon monoxide gas. It is a very poisonous gas. It is dangerous to burn coal in a closed room. The carbon monoxide gas produced can kill persons sleeping in that room. Remember for centuries wood was used as domestic and industrial fuel but now it has been replaced by coal and other fuels like lpg 
In many rural parts of our country, people still use wood as a fuel because of its easy availability and low cost. However, burning of wood gives a lot of smoke which is very harmful for human beings. It causes respiratory problems. Also trees provide us with useful substances which are lost when wood is used as fuel. Moreover, cutting of trees leads to deforestation which is quite harmful to the environment. Oh, so that is why we are advised never to sleep in a room with burning or smoldering coal fire in it. Information Global warming is the rise in temperature of the atmosphere of the earth. This results among the other things in the melting of polar glacier which leads to a rise in the sea level causing floods in the coastal areas. Low-lying coastal areas may even be permanently submerged under water. Combustion of most fuels releases carbon dioxide in the environment. Increased concentration of carbon dioxide in the air is believed to cause global warming. Burning of coal and diesel releases sulfur dioxide gas. It is an extremely suffocating and corrosive gas. Moreover, petrol engines give off gaseous oxide of nitrogen. Oxides of sulfur and nitrogen dissolve in rainwater and form acids. Such rain is called acid rain. It is very harmful for crops, buildings and soil. The use of diesel and petrol as fuels in automobiles is being replaced by CNG, compressed natural gas, because CNG produces the harmful product in very small amounts. CNG is a cleaner fuel. Summary Fire can be controlled by removing one or more requirements essentials for producing fire. Water is commonly used to control fires. Water cannot be used to control fires involving electrical equipments or oils. Fuels differ in their efficiency and cost. Unburnt carbon particles in air are dangerous pollutants causing respiratory problems. Increased percentage of carbon dioxide in air has been linked to global warming. Oxides of sulfur and nitrogen produced by the burning of coal, diesel, petrol cause acid rain, which is harmful for crop, buildings and soil. That is all in this lesson. Let us learn more in the next lesson. Good going!